The question I get asked the most is what's going on in the job market? And I have to say that in recent weeks, my answer to that question has changed somewhat from the past couple of years. We're all aware of what's going on in the wider global economy. And the question now is how worried should we be about the impact on job markets? And for those of you who know me, you'll know that my focus is on the digital procurement and supply chain sector. So specifically what's going to happen to that particular niche job sector. So in this video, we're going to look at some of the data that's out there at the moment. Um, and then I'm going to, at the end of the video, just talk to you about what I think that means for digital procurement and supply chain and where we're heading over the next few months. So um, a lot of this data comes from uh, two recruitment bodies in the UK. One's called APSCO and one's called the REC. Uh, they work with KPMG to produce their job data, uh, job market data rather. Uh, and they've both produced some really interesting uh, statistics recently, not all of them pointing to one particular outcome. So let's look at some of the, the headlines. So um, the KPMG and REC report which is actually published today. They've cautioned that growth in demand is the weakest since February of 2021. Um, pay growth is down from an all time record uh, in March earlier this year. And candidate supply is down because of a number of people have got fears over job security and therefore more likely to stay in their current role. However, APSCO um, have reported that 46% of people are actually seeking jobs at the moment because they're concerned about the cost of living crisis and therefore looking to raise their earnings. APSCO also report that 78% of organizations are or have experienced problems with talent shortage this year. And if you actually look at the tech sector, on its own, that number rises to 83%. So for comparison, uh, the number is 80% in banking and 73% in manufacturing. Now, um, another point or a bit of data worth noting is, is that permanent vacancies by advertising are down 23% uh, earlier on this summer based on the last three year cycle. So going back to July 2019 to July this year, down 23%. But the number of uh, contract vacancies is up by 13% in the same period. And that made me think about some work I did with one of my clients, Beeline, recently. I was on one of their webinars, uh, and they were saying that actually now 47% of the global workforce are contractors of one form or another. So that's been a quite a significant rise over recent years and reflects the growing sort of community of people who work on a contract basis. So what does all this mean? Well, a number of things there really resonate with me. I've been going on about skill shortages in our marketplace for as long as I can remember and certainly regular viewers of my videos and Reason Insider will know all about that. And we will also know that I've been talking about the at times remarkable salary inflation we've seen in the last couple of years that led us to actually produce a salary report on it earlier on this year, which you can still download from our website. And um, they're two real common themes, but I think the other headline here is that there are some signs of a slowdown in the wider uh, job market, which is not a huge surprise given what's going on. And the other thing is a lot of this data is about UK, not all of it, some of it's international. When you look at the international picture um, globally, Manpower have reported that hiring intentions in their uh, global hiring index is up 33%. Now, I'm not sure the exact mechanics of how they calculate that, but the point they're making is that overall companies are still very optimistic about, about hiring more people and growing their headcount. So again, um, some, some sort of conflicting data out there, but I think the, the bigger picture is that it would be hard for there not to be a little bit of a slowdown in hiring activity as we enter this uncertainty uh, that we've got um, in the current economic climate. So what does that all mean for digital procurement and supply chain? Well, um, at the moment, as we are about to report in our insider report, which comes out in a couple of weeks, watch out for that. Um, we, we commented, actually, the market is still really, really strong. It's still really active. Uh, lots of demand for the same sorts of skills that we've been reporting for quite a period of time in, in client facing revenue generating roles for the software companies uh, in the consultancies for the implementation and adoption of the, of the major solutions, less so in the corporate market around digital transformation. But nonetheless, the picture is still a positive one. And I would argue the reason for that is that historically procurement and supply chain has always been a more robust market than most as a profession because of the importance of those functions in difficult economic climates. 
and by association, the sort of uh, the digital market that goes with that, the software vendors, the consultancies, um, they're in more demand as well. So the job market in the area should hold up pretty well by comparison with the wider globe markets and, and other tech sectors. So I think let's not panic yet. We're still in a good shape, but I think there is some argument that the amount of demand will soften a little bit. And also, I think the salary growth will soften as well, although we're looking, going to measure that with some more data uh, towards the end of the year. But I think this remarkable growth we've had had to come to an end at some point and, and, and companies need to reflect that maybe it's getting out of control. So uh, that's my view. I think we're in a better state than most, but watch out uh, for some some signs in the market that overall things are tightening a little. Okay, also watch out for Insider. Um, it's coming very soon. And for those of you who watched all this and don't know who I am, I'm Andrew Daly. I'm the Managing Director of Digital Procurement and Supply Chain at Every Daily. And if you want to get in touch with me, you can use the Contact Me uh, tab on this video. Thank you.